guys, welcome to today's video. Good morning, and what did we get? Chickens. So uh, we had more chickens hatch. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so cute. Um, this is Belle. Oh, careful. This is Belle and this is Gaston. Belle and Gaston, which is coincidentally my favorite ever uh, fairy tale. From Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, look at how cute she is. This is our only white chicken that we've hatched. <laughs> Last year, we gave away every black chick that we hatched. Every one. And now what did God tell us? Here, have all black chicks. These are our chicks for this morning. We went to bed and one was in the ink one chick was in the ink incubator and now there are eight. Okay, but when me and my mom were looking in there this morning, we saw a new head. And then every time we kept checking, there was a new head. Yeah, like they hatch really fast. And there's another one in there. Yeah, let's look. It's a black one. <laughs> so Sophie looked just now and she saw oh I saw the egg first. Do you guys see it's just laying there resting? So he's he's happy in there. That came from, oh, there he is. Hello. Anytime you flash a light in there, they're like, I'm coming to the light. <laughs> Somebody really needs to teach chickens not to do that. <laughs> anyway, he that's our next, that's our number nine out of this hatch. We had 24 in there. We had to take them out because they were standing on the eggs that were hatching. Yeah, like we couldn't keep them any, anymore. You're supposed to leave them all in, but our incubator could not hold 24 of these chicks. There were eight in there and it honestly was so awful. Right there. Oh, there it is. All my perimeters have been really good for this hatch and all of like, and the eggs are actually only supposed to start hatching today and already we have nine chicks. So hopefully that bodes well for us. There are some black uh, copper moran eggs over here and they usually take a little bit longer to hatch so they might hatch tomorrow or even possibly the next day or not at all. It's weird because that egg wasn't pipped. Is there another egg in there that's pipped? Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> that one. Yeah, that one. Okay, so anyways, let's let's close them up. He's like, no, don't move me. The hard thing about black copper moran eggs is that they need everything to be exactly perfect. They're like super picky because that dark, dark egg color is really solid. It's like really hard for them to get through. It's really hard for them to pip through. So it can take a little bit longer, super thick, and sometimes it doesn't work at all. I really want to be successful and hatch at least one black copper moran. But if we don't, it's okay because Sam bought me a black copper moran chick and it comes at the end of May. End of April or end of May? Beginning of May, the, we got Sam ordered six chicks of all the breeds that I wanted. So if we don't hatch one, it's okay. I'm okay with it. I'd like a rooster though, so Mr. we'll see. I have a marriage question for you guys. I have a question for all you older women. All you older women that have been married or, or are married and that have survived marriage, I have a really important question to ask you. This is something that Sam and I have argued about our entire marriage, more so lately. So I wanna ask you guys this question. Please comment below what the answer is because maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I think Sam's wrong though. So basically, if someone's sitting in a chair and it's in the middle of a walkway and somebody's coming and walking by, what is the standard thing to do? Do you politely move your feet because it's common courtesy or do you just leave them stuck out there and expect the other person to walk over them because that's what's supposed to happen? Sam, what's your answer? My answer is to move your feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> or or walk somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so what about if someone is like sweeping around your feet and you're sitting there just watching your phone and someone is sweeping around your feet? What is the common courtesy answer to do there? Move feet. Move your feet. Okay, so you're all probably thinking like, Laura, he knows the right answer. Why are you even bringing this to us? Well, I actually had to call Sam's mom this morning and say like, just out of curiosity, what did you teach Sam growing up? Because Sam just told me that I was so silly for expecting him to move his feet when, when somebody's walking by. And she said, Sam, move your feet. <laughs> and he fought me to the death about it, and he didn't believe me. He then told his mom she's not getting a Mother's Day present this year. But I'm just curious what you guys are thinking, what you guys would say. What do you think, Ma Daisy? I think if it's your sister or your sibling, you try to trip them. Sophie says you only do that for people out of respect. If it's your sibling, you just trip them. So this morning I was so impressed with Ellie because for the very first time ever, she laid still while I put her hair in a ponytail and it was a perfect ponytail. Just wait, let, them, let me show them. But now that she's been running and playing, I see she pulled half the hairs out. <laughs> 
My dog is always gonna be messy. I tried so hard, you guys. <laughs> She's just always gonna be messy. We had to just run out to drop off a saddle for a friend and <laughs> We brought Ellie so she could get used to the car. So she likes to sleep on this thing now. But anyways, she did this thing where she's standing up and then all of a sudden she just dropped dead asleep. And Sam, and Sam's like, hey, did you die? And it's what she does at night too. She is so funny at night, you guys. So funny. Like when it's bedtime, she's ready to go. If I'm still editing, she sits on the edge of the couch and she just waits there and like sleeps and waits for me. And then I take her upstairs to bed. And then if I try and wake her up after she's asleep, I try and stand her up and she just flops over. Turkey vulture. Anyway, Sophie and I lay in bed at night, just like we did when Daisy was a puppy. We lay in bed at night and we like play with her and wrestle with her and have so much fun. And then when she's done, she's done. She just falls asleep. All right, so I have this X pen. I just got it from outside. It has the leaves all over it. I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna try to set up a little spot for Ellie. Hi, Els. Ellie. <laughs> Hi. Basically the goal is to be able to have a safe space to put her while we're in the barn. These stupid things never fold. Like you can never fold it back into like carrying position. Huh. See what I mean? Like no matter what you do, it's always like doesn't lay flat. But anyway, I actually have two goals today. One, to set up a place for her that she can be safe. And two, to long line her. Come here, oh, you know what? I don't have on her, I don't have a collar. I don't have a, I'm trying to fix her collar. The diamonds are falling off, we can't have that. So, how am I gonna do this? How are we gonna do this, Ellie Belly? We have nothing to attach this to. All right, so I attached it to her jacket. You ready, Ellie? <laughs> She's like, I don't know what's happening. All right. I don't like these long ones. I hate using them. Look at how good she is. Such a good po puppy. All right, so uh, the girls are supposed to be coming down to help me, but don't, don't go in the mud. So while we, good girl, good girl, Ellie, good girl. I don't have any treats with me. Good girl, good girl. Yeah, good girl. My point is to get her to ignore the horses. Yeah, so we're gonna go for a little walk in here. Let's go, come on. Come on. All right, good girl. Good girl, yeah. It's honestly like such a muddy mess in here. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, Ellie, good girl. Good girl. So before, she really wanted to chase the horses and I don't want her to do that. Good girl. And I don't want her to go up to the back of the horses either, to their back feet, which is her favorite place because then they're not looking at her and she feels like she can walk up to them and smell them. She doesn't understand. Come on. She doesn't understand that that's where the most painful kicks come from. Good girl, good girl, wait. Wait, so I want to teach her one to wait on this bench. And then I also want to use this area over here to make like a little area that I can get her. It's okay. Horses are all around me. I literally am not going to be able to do this unless the kids come down. Girl, wait. Good girl. She's such a good girl. Be nice. Yeah, remember, she's your friend. You can be friends now, or as long as you, hey, wait, wait, wait. Good girl, yeah, good girl. Ah, that's not good. Wait, wait. <laughs> She's like, I'm done waiting, I'm just a baby. <laughs> so I want, so basically I want to be able to come down and be able to put her someplace that she can see everything that's happening, get used to the horses, and I can work in the barn. Like right now, I really want to clean up the mess that is the arena. I also wanted to say that just because I'm showing a lot of Ellie and the stuff that we're doing with Ellie right now, because we have to do a lot with Ellie right now because she's a baby, um, we're not ignoring our other horses, right? 
We're not ignoring you. We're not ignoring our other dogs. Our other dogs still get tons of attention. In fact, I have to compete with our other dogs usually for Ellie's attention because they steal her, right? <laughs> and she's like, I really want to run and play. <laughs> good girl. Good girl, you're such a good girl. Oh wait, good girl. Yeah. All right, hold on. I'm just waiting for the girls to come down. So this is it. Do you guys think this is dangerous to leave in here with the dogs? Horses. With the horses? Do you guys think it's dangerous to leave this in here, set up with the horses in here? It falls over easy, and I don't think they could get their their feet in these little holes. Well, Honey's eating a broom, so. Honey, stop eating the broom. Okay, drop her in there and let's see what happens. All right, so she won't have a leash on while she's in there. And I plan to make a little snuffle mat and get some toys and stuff and put them in there yeah look at we've got mud everywhere that was your dog that was my dog because i let her walk down here i didn't know it was as much of a mud pit as it is yeah see so she can see the horses and she can see us yeah she's like i want out <laughs> so i won't be long before she'll be able to jump out of here she's like a little jack russell she can jump so high uh oh see that's what we didn't want so obviously it's going to take a little bit of training, but what do you guys think? With some toys and some treats that I'll probably like give her some treats while she's being quiet to reinforce. She just got out. The girls and I were far in the back. Yep, there she goes. She just climbed right up. Just climbed right So you know what's funny is that Macy, when I had Macy and she was a puppy, we tried to crate train her. And you could not crate train her because it didn't know it did not matter what you put her in she could get out of it wait good girl wait you guys i'm so frustrated the mud is killing me at ah, wait the mud is literally killing me i'm not even joking sophie and i went out to take care of the chickens you know the new chickens that we got they had a bit of scaly feet so we had to give them some medicine to treat it and it's just mud everywhere. I just can't even handle the mud. And then like, Ellie and I tried to walk down to the barn and it was awful. I had to like pick her up and carry her. Now we're all covered in mud. Sophie and I are all covered in mud. Hi. <laughs> I love you too. I love you. So anyways, that crate is not going to work. She can climb out of it. So I'm either going to have to put a lid on it, which if I remember from, from Macy, it's not, it's not going <laughs> to, that's not going to work. Good girl. I just want her to act normal around the horses. Good girl. Yeah, so she has a healthy sense of fear now. <laughs> I know, I'm dying to get out here and to like play with our horses and I'm just ready for, no, come join you. I'm fine here with my little appendage. Good girl. She, she's got, Willow right in her face and she's doing really good. Sophie and I want to start taking our horses for a walk Like just take one horse and one dog every day and go for a walk and we'll probably drag Gabby along with us <laughs> How many people and horses can you fit on one tire? Whoa we Literally have a waterfront property now look it's a lake It's a river. <laughs> it's a lake for her Spring cleanup has begun. It might be only March, but Sam is out here and him and Gabby are going to clean the lawn. I just got hit in the head with something. Yeah, something blew across. Hopefully it wasn't a bird. I think it was a branch. If it was a bird, I would gonna Come on, Ellie. Come on. Come on. Whoa, did you see her jump? Shoot it up into the air.
Don't you know that you're 